and now look at the uh, couple of commitments made by the, the government um, before the election, these uh, funds or co-investment funds basically with the private sector, one on reconstruction broadly for the manufacturing and one on housing. Yeah, and it's not smooth sailing in terms of their Senate prospects for either, is it? So we don't have the Senate this week with Senate estimates committees going on, just the House. But when it resumes next month, we know that these two key Labor election funds, the Housing Australia Future Fund and National Reconstruction Fund, will be the focus in the Senate with the Coalition and Greens threatening to block both bills. Education Minister Jason Clare had this to say on his concerns on the Housing Australia Fund, which is to provide $10 billion for social housing on Sunday Agenda yesterday. If that happens, that's extraordinary. Sometimes the far left and the far right join up together. We've seen that on climate change in the past. You've seen that on The Voice where you've, you've got some people in the Greens and some people in the National Party just split off into the no camps. But don't do it on this. And if you talk to anyone in this sector, they'll say that you need more long-term accommodation for women fleeing domestic violence. This will do it. And, and if, if Peter Dutton or the Greens oppose this, then I think they'll be rightly condemned by domestic violence groups right across the country. Andrew Clennell, thanks. We'll see you at the top of the hour.